If you can program your favorite TV shows to record, you can program the remote for your motorized shades. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is. In this short video, we're going to discuss setting up your remote, pairing your remote with a shade motor, adjusting the upper and lower limits, setting a favorite position for your shade, and deleting a shade motor from your remote. You can always consult your shade's installation instructions as needed for additional reference. Do not attempt to raise or lower your motorized shade manually. Doing so can permanently damage the motor and other components in the headrail. There may be a power switch on the motor head of your shade, so make sure it is toggled to the on position before you proceed. Your shade's motor and remote are pre-programmed at the factory and ready to use once the battery is installed in the remote. Your first step will be to insert the lithium battery into the remote control. Slide the battery tray out from the bottom of the remote and then turn the remote so the front is facing upward. Place the battery into the tray with the positive side facing up, and then slide the tray closed again. You will see five buttons on the front of your remote control. Up, Stop, Down, Channel Increase, and Channel Decrease. On the back of the remote, there are two more buttons we'll be using. C for Confirm, and L for Limit. Your remote can operate up to five shades separately. The five lights at the top of the remote indicate which channel you're currently operating. We highly recommend programming only one shade to each channel. Press the channel increase or channel decrease button to toggle through the channels. To operate up to five shades simultaneously, change the channel until all five indicators illuminate. To use your remote, press the down button to lower the shade. Press the stop button to halt the shade's movement at any point. Press the up button to raise the shade. Let's now discuss how to pair your remote with a specific shade. First, select the channel on your remote that you want to link the shade to. Then locate the setting button next to the charge port on the motor head and press it down until the motor begins to beep. You should hear four rapid beeps followed by five long beeps. Any time after the first long beep and before the fifth long beep, press the C button on the back of your remote. Your shade will respond with a few rapid beeps to confirm your remote and motor are paired. If you need to pair another shade to your remote, repeat this step on a new channel. Now we'll show you how to adjust your shade's upper and lower limits. Your shade arrives with upper and lower limits already programmed, so only proceed with this process if you want to change how these settings are configured. When you begin this process, you must reset both the top and bottom limits, even if you only want to adjust one limit. On the back of the remote, press and hold the L button for a few seconds. When the shade jogs, you'll know the remote is in programming mode. Press the down button to lower the shade until it is close to your desired bottom limit, and then press stop. Tap the up or down buttons to adjust your shade in short increments. When you're ready to save the bottom position, press the C button to confirm. The shade will jog once to acknowledge that your lower limit is now set. Now press the up button to raise the shade until it's close to the desired top limit, and then press stop. Tap the up or down buttons to adjust your shade in short increments. When you're ready to save the top position, press the C button. The shade will jog once to acknowledge that your upper limit is now set. Test the new limits by allowing the shade to fully raise and lower until it stops automatically. The next optional step is setting a favorite position. Use the up or down button to move the shade to your desired favorite position. Press and hold the L button while simultaneously pressing and holding the up button. After a few seconds, your shade will jog to confirm that the favorite position is saved. Now, whenever the shade is not in motion, holding the stop button will move your shade directly to your saved position. To reset a new favorite position, simply repeat the previous steps. Lastly, we'll review how to delete your shade from a channel. Press and hold the C button three individual times in a row, just long enough for the shade to jog and beep with each press. After the third press, the shade will jog and beep multiple times, confirming that you've successfully removed the shade from the channel. You did it! You now know how to operate and program your motorized shade. If you have any questions or need more help programming your remote, refer to the installation instructions on our website or just give us a call. We're here to help.